Hi guys, welcome back. It's been oh, three weeks, I think, since I've posted anything. Um, several reasons for that. Uh, it's been three weeks. Now, this is my third week, so it's been two weeks I'm posting. This is my third week, sorry. Um, basically, uh, this week, it's been a celebration week for me. It was my birthday on Monday. Uh, so I've been celebrating and... Me and my wife went away to Brighton for a couple of days. I found a new comic shop there. Bought a fucking shit ton of stuff. Um, I'm looking on my bed now and I'm thinking, holy fucking shit. I have bought a lot of stuff. Um, plus, there's other stuff I bought throughout the last two, two and a half weeks as well. Just what I picked up normally. Um, my family and friends were very generous with me this year. And so, you know, some gave me money, some gave me vouchers, some bought presents. And I'm just like, whoa, I'm looking at all the stuff I've got and I was, I am extremely, extremely lucky. Um, so as the title suggests, this is just going to be a toy haul or more specifically an action figure haul video only because quite frankly it is, you know, scary looking. When I start going through it, you understand. Um, sorry for the, the camera maybe shaking around a bit. That's because it's on my bed, which is a bit bouncy. Um, the reason is on my bed because that's the only place I've got space for it because I've got that much stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, so let's start off. Um, I picked up uh, Marvel Legends Mockingbird from the Builder Figure Red Onslaught. Um, I really like this figure actually. Um, pick it up. I may pick up the rest. Maybe I don't know. Um, haven't opened it yet, but trust me, I will do. Um, again, forgive me. These are going to be in no order whatsoever because they're just fucking everywhere. Um, just because uh, I picked up uh, a sealed Boba Fett and sealed Emperor off eBay. Um, I paid five pound for the pair. Although the card is starting to come away here on this one, that you see. But still, a fiver for those two. I was happy to just pay five for Boba Fett. Um, that may get open because it's pretty much opened anyway. But that's cool. Pick those two for fiver. You can't argue for that, can you? Five quid. Um, again. Picked up an Obi-Wan Kenobi, as you know, some fucking thieving piece of shit nicked my Star Wars collection. Uh, so, yeah, I'm slowly replacing them as we go along. So I picked up another Obi-Wan Kenobi. The box is a bit <sighs> smashed up, which has kind of pissed me off a bit, because the one I have is in better condition, to be fair. But it's the best one I could find. Um, so, and I didn't pay a lot for it either, so can't grumble too much, can you? Um, also picked up another Han Solo. Um... This one really did piss me off because this I paid uh, 40 quid for this one. So that did bum me out. But it is in good condition. There's a few dings on the box here and there. But I got myself another hand solo. So yay. Um, I need to get myself another Chewy though. I haven't got Chewbacca back yet. Um, so that's cool. I um, picked up more than I thought actually. Um, also picked up another Ray. Um, this one was quite hard to find. Um... I don't know why. I don't know if you short packed or what, but I, you know, I found another Ray anyway. Um, it's not the greatest figure, but it does come with BB-8, so it's it's not all bad. So that's pretty cool. I found that in a uh, forbidden plant actually. So that's pretty cool. So while I was there, I also picked up. Excuse me, while I lean across, picked up another Kylo Ren. But this one's the uh, uh, it's, I don't know if it's, it's a limited edition or what, but it's a Star Book Killer base version. Where he's got the base and you see the stone and stuff. Um, so that's pretty cool. So I've got another Kylo Ren. I may still pick up the standard one. I don't know. But I saw this one. And I just thought, yeah, it looks cool. So unlikely that will come out of the box. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, trust me, a lot of this stuff will come out of the box. But, yeah, you know, who knows? I don't know. Um, I picked this one up today from my local comic shop. I just thought it was very cool. Um, Batman The Dark Knight Returns uh, Twin Pack. Oh, you got a bit of glare there. You see, you've got the <laughs> you can see, you've got the TV on in the background. I'm just watching Daredevil season two at the moment. Um, I'm making my way through. Uh, I'm about halfway through, so I'm really <laughs> fucking good. Um, so yeah, twin pack there. That was cool. That was really. That was. I think I paid thirty quid for that. I think that's great value because usually you pay like twenty quid just for a figure on his own. So that's fantastic. Also picked up. Uh, a Deathstroke um, from the, the DC Comics Supervillains. This is going with my Deathstroke collection. I've got a few of them now. But that's pretty cool. That will be coming out of the box. I picked that up last week. But I've been keeping it in the box for you guys. So I can show you. 
Um, so I've been very patient, <laughs> extremely patient, I would say. Um, oh, it's good. The pile's going down a bit. I can start to see things. Um, I went down to my local tools hot tools. Uh -huh. Excuse me. I got. Oh, what's going on there? I couldn't speak for a minute. Um, I went down to my local Toys R Us, and they had some of the Legend series. Uh, three three point seven five inch uh, action figures. I must admit, I haven't really picked up any of these before, but I seen well, I haven't picked any up before actually. Um, mainly because um, you just don't see me over here. Um, so picked up Captain Marvel, which is cool. On the back, it shows which ones you can get. So you got Captain Marvel, Spider Man Noir. Um, who's that dude? Marvel's Triton, Ulick, Yondu, and Iron Man. Classic Iron Man, I guess. So that's pretty cool. These will be getting an open as well. I'm not a mineral card collector. Um, but the, you know, the way they've got these packages, is you can actually open these up, look. So you can just scroll down here and through there. You can open them up without actually destroying the packaging. So I'm going to do that. So it's not all bad. Um, <laughs> when I say I picked up this one, I didn't. I picked up quite a few, actually, because... In my Toys R Us, if you don't grab it straight away, it's gone and it's never going to come back anytime soon. So you just got to, you got to strike while the iron is hot. And because I've had this week off work, um, you know, I, I, I literally came in, the guy was unpacking them and put them on the shelf. And I was that cheeky, I said, look, do you mind if I just go through them and have a look and take what I want? And he was like, yeah, whatever. And so I did. So I picked up Captain Marvel. Um, it also had some the Marvel Infinite series. So I got Hawkeye, which is pretty cool. Uh, picked up Cyclops, which is cool. I'm gonna say cool a lot, so I'm sorry. Uh, Miles Morales, Ultimate Spider Man. Uh, Bishop. Oops, excuse me, why just lean across? Hopefully, you don't see too much of my chin, which you can know. Bit of a chin, there you go. Uh, Black Panther, which you can't really see, the camera doesn't really do justice, but it's a really nice figure. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, Deadpool, uh, X Men outfit. Deadpool. Picked that. It's got alternate head as well. Look, That's pretty cool. So yeah, picked up Deadpool. Uh, picked up Blue Beast. They had a Grey Beast and Blue Beast, but the Grey Beast just doesn't do it for me. It's the Blue Beast all the way. You know, Jim Lee, eight nineties X Men cartoon Jim Beast. That's what I'm after. Uh, picked up Yondu because I. I just thought it was a cool character, really. So you just look cool. He's picked up Ulick just because he's a bit of a beastie figure. Ulick, Ulick, Ulick. Trolls Masgard, he's pretty cool. Excuse me, while well, I just pick up some more. I know, how many more have I got, you're asking? Well, I've got one, two, three. <laughs> um, oh, shit. Wow, I do apologise for that. Um, sorry, the camera was all over the shop then. But, you know, I had to have, have a big stretch there to uh, get, get hold of what I needed. Uh, picked up Spider-Man, which is way cool. Uh, I'm, thinking I'm, I'm overtired. I mean, I'm like one of the children who gets overtired and just I start drooling and making mistakes and tripping over myself. Uh, Spider-Man Noir. Mainly because I'm looking at all the stuff I got over here and I'm just like thinking, fuck. Um, Marvel's Colossus. Cool way he's wearing the Juggernaut outfit. That's from the. Um, when he got the Phoenix Force powers, I believe. I mean, but he looks pretty cool, doesn't he? That is cool. And it's, it's got a bit of weight to it. So that's all the Marvel Legends figures. I know. I didn't pick up many, did I? I picked up one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, fix it, 14 of them. Oh shit, I didn't share this one, did I? <laughs> Marvel's uh, Cork, I think this is from Planet Hulk. Um, and I just bought him because he's quite chunky figure, I like the look of him. Um, so yeah, I picked up like 14, uh, <laughs> three, oh man, what am I doing to myself? Also picked up a twin pack, uh, which is pretty cool. Only because it's got Sam Williams and Captain America, which is pretty cool. He's cool as well. well. You know, I quite like Rounds and Astro. He's pretty cool looking, but just nice twin, twin pack. And again, this I will try to open this look damage in it, but I can't point anything. But it, well, it's got to get open, I'm afraid, guys. So 
So that's it. Mm, that's not it. I'm lying to you. There's a bit more. Okay. Let me set the backdrop for you, okay? We're in Brighton. We went to this new store called Dave's Comics. Never been there before. And he had the best selection of Marvel selects I've ever seen. Um, you know, I'm lucky if I can see one or two down here. This guy had a fucking load. I mean, load. Um, so I picked up a few of them. I picked up one, two, three. Oh, I picked up six. Um, so I picked up Colossus. Um, because he's going to stand proudly with my Deadpool Marvel Select. Uh, so that's cool. I also picked up... Ooh! Uh, Red Hulk. Cause, just because he's an absolute monster. Um, highly recommended for home invasion use. If someone comes in, take him, smack him over the head. Fucker's going down. Guaranteed it. But yeah, Red Hulk. Thunderbolt Ross. You know, and I couldn't have a Red Hulk without a... Uh, without a Green Hulk, could I? So, Green Hulk. Um... I don't know where I'm going to put these. I really do not know. I went. I just went. I went a bit fucking mental, actually. You know, I got a little bit of bonus from work. Um, my family and friends give me some money, and I just went fucking splurge, and I fucking splurge. Um, so I do apologise, but I picked up another one over here. Got to reach for again. Ugh, abomination. Now this. I kid you not. This thing is fucking monstrous. Huge. It's so heavy. I, I kid you not. It probably weighs about two and a half, about five to seven pounds. About two and a half kilos that way. It is just an absolute beast. Oh, uh, also picked up the Wolverine. I got no Wolverines, man, on my shelf. I need some Wolverine action going on. So the Wolverine. I like the side art they do on these boxes as well. You know, I do. I do really like um, Marvel Select figures. The only downside is sometimes your articulation isn't great but you know I understand it's down to licensing in the deal they have with Marvel Legends or something so I can forgive it for that um, but the thing I, it does annoy me is you know I wish they made the packaging like the new Marvel Legend figures so this for example you could take the figure out of this box put it back in when you want you can't do that with these so you kind of have to destroy the packaging which I don't like but I'm one of these people who has to open my shit up and so if it has to open up I will you know I did I you know I want to buy these things to enjoy, yeah. So uh, picked up. Well, you can see what it is, but price tag, whatever it's fucking face. Picked up Thor. Sorry about that. That is just it looks really cool. You can see his tunic and stuff. Very cool looking Thor. And finally, I picked up. Uh, excuse me. Uh, finally, picked up. Hulkbuster, Disney Sports Exclusive, um, this was, and yeah, I got a real good deal on this, I paid 25 quid for it, Disney Sports Exclusive, this is trading about between 30 and 50 pounds on eBay at the moment, so happy days of that, so that looked good against one of the Hulks, um, is there anything else I didn't show you, more than likely to be fair, more than bloody likely I'd say, <laughs> yeah, no, there's two more things to show you guys, I do, I will. This won't be much, but there's a big one there. That's a big one. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. There you go. So next one up, it's another Marvel, Marvel's Legend, Taskmaster. Um, I just thought it was a really cool figure. I just like this one. It's like, it seems to be the figure out of the way that most people are all sort of going with. So I really enjoyed that. And finally, guys, I swear to you, this is the last one. I'm looking around the room now to make sure I haven't forgotten to think. I don't think I have. Um, finally, finally, uh, I picked up. Oh, you see, I see it. I don't know. The Justice League uh, pack with every member of it. Um, got a fantastic deal on this. Look, I paid sixty pound for this. This is actually a gift from my wife. My wife bought me this for my birthday. It's a birthday present. So I got the new Fist Two Justice League there. Look, it's got all of them in there. Happy days. That is just... I've been wanting it for a while, um, but I wasn't willing to pay the price, asking price for it. Um, so now it's gone down in price to 60 quid, which it still hasn't gone down in price. So I think I was just really lucky. Um, yeah, oh, wow. Just... Cool. So, guys. Oh, shit. 
Sorry about that. Uh, first off, sorry about the camera work. It was a bit makeshift, and it had to be because I've just got so much shit around here. Um, thank you for your patience for watching it. Uh, sorry, there hasn't been a health update, uh, health log. I had, I didn't haven't been in the gym now for two weeks, um, and that's a couple of reasons. I'm, you know, I'm on vacation this week, so I'm treating that as vacation. I'm not going to the gym. Um, and last week I was rough as fuck. Um, I'm really, really ill. Um, got some germs off. Well, I don't know. This guy in work had some flu symptoms, and it just knocked me on my ass. It really did. So I've been sort of recovering for that. But back to the gym on Monday. Uh, well, maybe Tuesday because it's bank holiday over here in England. But I'll probably go for a walk or something. But basically, I'm getting back to the regime on Monday. Going to hit it hard. Going to start making update uh, health update vlogs again. Um, so yeah, all good. That was a monster, a monster fucking haul. Uh, I'm quite shocked actually. Look, I didn't. It's it's bad. It's so bad. You look around. You don't think it's that bad until you look around and see what you picked up and you think. Shit, that's a lot. Um, there will be a second video because I've got three weeks worth of fucking books to show you and all, guys. Sorry. Um, so, yeah. I've said um and cool and uh a lot this video. I do apologise because I wasn't planning on making a video. I just sat down here, looked at all my stuff and thought, damn, I've got to make a video now. Otherwise, this stuff's going to get put away and I'm going to forget to show you guys. So, I did. Here you go, guys. Here it is. Um, have you made it to the end of this video? Then, God bless you. You have a lot of strength. Um, if you make it to the next one, thank you in advance. Uh, so until next time, guys, you know how it goes. Take care, be well, be safe, but above all, be good to one another. Take care, folks. Bye.